And my feet are like jumping around with the song. Who's that? Molly's friend, Justin? Yeah, I'm probably just wrong. It's a nice idea. Imagine that Michelle was a character the whole time. Is it an act? I wonder if Michelle didn't copy some of her gimmick. Well, I'll turn it back on if somebody comes up. Otherwise, we'll probably just keep it off while we do these call-in shows. But I'll turn it on if somebody wants me to to say hi. I'll turn it on to say hi. Hmm. With the maid talk, she born damn. Huh. So, does she have any controversy though, like Michelle? Because you know, the thing that made Michelle interesting is, uh, you know. A former prostitute, all the terrible things, the breakup with the husband, the fact she was uh, dealing with her situation as far as alimony. I'm all high now. Let me get out of this uh, layout. If we can still hear you, I got to put you back on screen. What's up, Elle? Oh my God. I don't even know what to say. I'm so nervous. Let me turn my music down. Oh, wow. Look at your hair. You look nice. Thank you. I just got off of work. Oh, really? How's, uh, how's life treating you? It's good, man. School's hard. School's Is that the same place? Are you still yeah. in the same place? Yeah. I, I remember it. But I graduate cool. next week. What did you uh, go to school for? Cosmetology, obviously. That's why my hair looks so good. <laughs> did you do your hair? I did. I did my own hair. Okay, the nerves are starting to float away. I feel like oh, I can yeah. barely talk. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you do this. <laughs> oh, we're getting ready to turn the camera off. It's Just so nerve-wracking. No, I'm not going to turn it off. I'll, I'll grin and bear it. I can do it. <clears throat> I don't have a very good... Uh, set up either like my picture yeah anyway, mine isn't gonna... that good either i'm just on my laptop camera so it is what it is how's uh so besides school it's probably freezing where you're at it's freezing but guys i just got a job i started my new job today today was my first day <laughs> really yeah hmm. it's a really nice salon it's like very fancy and high-end and expensive so making that money and now, so how does that work? Do you like, uh, you got like a booth to type deal or? I have it, to uh, start from the bottom. I have to like pay my dues since I, you know, I'm freshly licensed. I have my cosmetology license now. I've passed the state boards, but I got to like assist and sweep up hair and like do blowouts and all that good shit. That's where you, you do hair? Because I know sometimes you do a uh, makeup or cosmetologist that do makeup. No, uh, I'm not yeah. makeup. Um, no, I'm all like, about what are the, like, who are the people that do eyebrows and shit? Are those cosmetologists too? Yeah, or like estheticians, like they're licensed. Like they still went to school, but they didn't have to go for as much. Like I had to go for 1,250 hours to get my license. So that's like a lot of school. <laughs> yeah, it took me almost a year. I was going to say, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> are those literal hours? Like those are how many hours you had to go? Like all together, yeah. all the days yeah. added up? Wow. Yeah. So how many? 2,500? 
1,250. So if you miss none, it takes like nine months, but like I'm, you know, a little bit older. I got life going on. I missed some days. And, and they all... charge you. If you miss days, like, and you have to come to school extra, they charge me. Like, I had to pay the school $900 to graduate. Well, that's like extortion. Because <laughs> how are you not going to pay them to graduate? You're like, bitch, I didn't come all this way to not graduate. <laughs> I'm on to something. I think they do this to everybody. Right. Did but... it, uh, is it like a beauty school? Like, a, like, is it a big school you went to? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's like 100 girls. I was definitely the oldest one in my school, which was also like embarrassing, like starting a career. Again. You're not even old. Well, I guess because the industry, because there's a lot of younger chicks. Like, yeah, it's go. like girls right out of high school who were like 19, 18, 19 years old. And they're trying to maybe like, is it, what's a cool thing you can do besides obviously you can go anywhere and cut hair and do that. But uh like I've gonna... already been to L.A. Like school flew me out to L.A. There was like a fancy like hair training for the like brand of school that I went to. So they flew me out to LA, put me up in Beverly Hills. Like that was pretty, pretty bomb. So I hope to like do more shit like that. Like get paid to travel. Like what made you decide to want to go to cosmetology school? Is that something you always wanted to do or just re revisited? Yeah. I worked in salons before. Like the only ever like proper jobs I really had were like working in salons. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was living kind of like a crazy life. Like I wasn't. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, like, had, that's something you got to, like, choose to go do. You could have just, you know, you could have did a lot of things. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm glad you yeah. did that. Thank you. Are no, you? I appreciate it. You've been so supportive. Like, every time I come in, you're so nice. You're like, get it. Go, L. I love that. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see there's some hairdressers in chat. I just looked in chat to, like, see what people are saying. I see there's some fellow. <laughs> Does fellow anybody have a question? Politics. I can highlight them out of here. So you're done with you're done with school and you already have a have a job. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, super congratulations. But now I just need to drive. You know I don't drive. I've never been a driver. I am what they call a passenger How do you princess. Huh. I like being driven, but I take Ubers everywhere and it's expensive. Yeah, you gotta work on that. Yeah. <laughs> or you're gonna have to move and live somewhere closer close by where you work at. Or that, like, I've been thinking of, like, moving to downtown. You know the streets here, too, are insane. Remember driving? Yeah, the ups and downs and all. Yeah, fuck that. It's, you probably can't even go outside. But is it uh, snowy and icy? Like when it I gets just like broke that. my ass walking up the driveway. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like you didn't break. Not the ass. It's impossible. No, you injured it. That's it. it just There's injured a padding it a on bit. it, but I'm telling you. Man. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, man. I you know what? Like, love your new chat though i love this new audience that you have everyone is so chill and positive like i got lucky this is it was really so lucky did. yeah you got away from the like i know how you started out and like what brought you into the community and like getting away from that like i'm proud of you too you're doing big things hmm. <laughs> I mean, this isn't like? easy people think this is easy my heart's beating out of my chest right now your voice <laughs> shakes like being on camera and like talking to fucking hundreds of people is scary it's hard it's not do you easy. uh do you ever try to stream on your channel anymore no oh my god because i only ever had like two or three people i was just doing it to like fuck around during the <laughs> pandemic but you wow. never yeah you didn't you only tried a couple times no like i i knew right away that i don't want to be a streamer that streamer life is not for me no they said uh, it's a normal woman uh, <laughs> yeah, have you been watching much lately i What's mean you, you watch it you watch a little bit uh what do you think of the woman, Michelle? She's she's kind of crazy, right? She seems cool. I, I mean, I, like, take all this, like, I think, like, knowing you, that I know that sometimes this is just, like, for entertainment purposes and, like, not to always, like, read into it so much. <laughs> but I just, like, take it for entertainment. Like, I think it's funny as fuck. Like, I like right. the she's dancer. The, it was, right. It's because she was, like, this wild character, and she came and found me. I was just, like, standing around talking, talking and smoking weed, and then, uh, that's how I was able to meet a lot of new viewers and whatnot, though. So, yeah, really and I notice people say stuff from, like, uh, I see, like, Aaron Carter, former, like, crossover mods from the Carterverse and stuff. So I, like, see people <laughs> from, you know, from there and then uh, it that way. Man, it's crazy. Like, you take if you take a break, I could imagine, like, so much changes, but then there's still, like, some of the same people around. Yeah, I mean, I, like, when I was in the thick of it at school, like, I was so busy. I would come home and like go to sleep and wake up and do it. Like I didn't even have time. My 
I wasn't on the computer. I wasn't watching streams. I did show the girls at school your stream, though. One day we were watching Ski Mask. We got <laughs> some new fans. I was just about to say, maybe I got some new subscribers. You did. I was like, they were like going in your chat. The one girl was like trying to get you to say her name. She was like, Do you think I could get her to say my name? I was like, Girl, go for it. I'm sure you can. That's, really, that's hilarious. That's all the best. But do you no. plan on what do you uh, are you going to stay in your area? Like, could your family's there? Or do you think, yeah, there? you know, I'm like big with the family. I'm always at least that's a, it's a city you live in, so you'll be able to get work. It's not like a rinky dink town or something. No, right. Like, I am in hairdresser groups and I see hairdressers like in Oklahoma, like in your area, and they can't charge like what we charge here. Like, they are. I didn't want to ask about the money, but like, kind of usually hairdressers get a decent amount of money. Like, you get a, a pretty good, uh, as long as you're personable and you know how to, you know, cut yeah. hair, obviously. It's like three to five hundred dollars for like a what cut. Are, what's the range of skill? Like, do you consider yourself a good? hairstylist i guess or is there anything oh, like set by my set own i'm pretty fucking good yeah <laughs> i'm good i know what i'm doing like i didn't like pursue this well doesn't it, I so like, else to do. every woman that went to cosmetology school they all got to be able to cut hair to graduate right like to a certain degree you, you do, do not actually you just have to be good at taking tests they took away like the whole practice that's what thing. i was trying to get to like there's yeah. no actually yeah. no you don't have to be good it's at like shit paper. yeah it's like a lot of uh book learning or whatever it's like technical because stuff the pandemic. but you do have to know you have to know like every bone of the head like i have to know that like this is called the occipital bone i have to know how to find the apex of my head you have to know like, like <laughs> masseter muscle you got to know all kinds of, like facial structure and shit a lot of like reference points yeah, like for haircuts and stuff. Haircutting is not my jam though. Like especially men's cuts. I like coloring. I like all the other stuff. You can, yeah, there's more money in the other stuff to add on. To... Yeah, I'm not doing little fifty dollar men's haircuts, and like that's what it costs in Pittsburgh for 50, men's I'm, haircuts now. I get my haircut for eight dollars, L. <laughs> you can be cutting that's a lot of hairs to get a, yeah. your whole day to get to fifty bucks. You're gonna cut five heads out here in Oklahoma. My no, my barber. People are getting that money. Oh, everybody in the chat's so nice, you guys. I still feel like I'm going to throw up, though. I don't know why it's so nerve-wracking. Uh, I'm looking for questions, but it's hard for me to look at the screen and still. No, uh, it's okay. If you could see me in real life right now, like you would see, like I'm okay, blushing. Hold on. Show us what. Show us what you're up to. Hold on. Go take us around for a second. Show us what. Uh, you got the cat still? Here's Cole. Oh, he just ran away. There's jumping. <laughs> chilling on the floor you guys can see my messy ass room it's not that bad yeah, this is a nice place i remember there's jumper oh, oh no i moved i'm not in that little oh this ain't the same one? Oh, okay no. that's what i was asking it no, wasn't that bad I, I like that one because it had like the, it, you like right out there on the street like, that one was yeah cool. this it one's nicer nice. though this but one is better tiny. that place was so small holy shit right and I remember when you were over, after you left, my air conditioner was broken. Do you remember how hot it was? It was, like, really hot. It was, like, only May, but it was, like, 90 degrees. And I couldn't figure out why this, like, $600 air conditioner I just got wasn't working. I didn't have some shit, like, plugged in right, or I didn't have it, like, set to cold. It was just because I'm a dumbass. I had poor... I had your boy, like, sweating. It, was, it wasn't nice. It was too hot. <laughs> Was, we went down by the river though you remember that was pretty cool i still got yeah. that stream i had an unfortunate situation that i never talk about no more and i lost all my stuff as a result so that's, that's why right. it's, it's yeah. still we at least we streamed together that was fun it was cool yeah no we I, had I, some ducks <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't stream with a lot of people i've met like less than less than like a couple handfuls mm. i feel honored i was part of the group that <laughs> That got to be on the stream. I think you should go around and do another like road I'm trip. I'm thinking about it. I got a shitty car situation right now. It's like a money pit. I mean, you can imagine. So yeah, I got a different car. You were riding in the champagne bubble. <laughs> That's oh, a legendary yeah. car. That thing was epic. It was really, it was really something to see, you guys. You missed out yeah, if you didn't see the champagne bubble. It was something to witness. We didn't have, we only hung out for like about like 24 hours, but it was fun. Ski is a chill ass dude. I've just, it pisses me off that I've seen some people that you hang out with like come on and like say shit just to like fit in with new communities and like, oh, like 
go over and be a mod over here. I'm probably gonna make some enemies and have to like change my address after saying this. But <laughs> you don't even have to say no names. I know. I know that. Exactly yeah, it's like. I know they're lying. Like I've met you. They're just trying to fit in. They don't even mean the shit that that they're, uh, you know, they're lying about me saying these things, but they don't even mean it. So yeah, you're a chill ass dude. So, and I'm, the, I've not really? done nobody, none of my supporters. I never did nothing malicious and hurt. Like got no one in no trouble or like uh, the worst I've done is talk shit about somebody. Uh, that's you know. And like it's the internet, especially the people who found you like through the first way that they found you, like. What's, oh, what the fuck was, did you expect coming from that place? Like, that, uh, yeah, exactly. They were like, <laughs> that was like a whole terrible community of trolls. You were like the nicest person on there for real, and I'm glad you're not associated with them anymore. That like makes me feel comfortable to come they, on here. Like, I don't I know these new them. people, but they seem nice. Oh, they're very cool. They're cool, and the new community or whatever, like the new uh, group of characters I interact with, they're a lot nicer as well. Yeah. yeah. YouTubers, some of them, anyways. Not they're not nicer, but like the whole gist of it is nicer. Like it's not a, I don't know. There's not as many people trying to call restaurants or, or call probation offices. Right. The dog like thing that. that was terrible. People would like find where you were at before you would even get there. It was crazy. Yeah, and then now all they do is just talk shit about stuff that people already know. So the worst I got to deal with is like the same criticisms. You know, you can imagine like. You've been criticized for something one time, and this just hears another person say the same shit. It doesn't doesn't really have like that much of a bad feeling. It's like promotion. It's haters, you're living the dream to like do this and like make a life <clears throat> off of it, and like you know be able to support yourself streaming. Like that is the ultimate dream. There's hundreds of people that try it every day that don't do it. Like you're gonna have. I haters. wasted. I wasted a whole bit of time, but you, know, you, you can't, can't look at it, it like that, though. That's just like another you know, spice that's going to make you, you know, like the spice of life. That's what I was looking for. I don't know. It's like, it's just like, it, it's what makes you, you like the shit that you go through makes you, you like, <laughs> I'm divorced. We've all been through like really shitty situations and relationships. It's like part of growing up. It's part of coming up. Like now you'll know what you want and what you don't want in life, what to avoid, <laughs> what to look for. Big up, you know, Oh, it is L. Okay. That's funny. Yeah, no, so you, you were awesome too. I, I, like I met several people. You were probably one of one of my favorite. Like you were friendly and Aww. going to the river and stuff was cool. And you were you were personable on stream. Some of the people I met didn't want to be on stream, which is you know of course is understandable. I don't think I did it first for like the first like ten minutes, and maybe even longer than ten minutes. No, I was like, well, you had never been on cam before. No. Way even more than this, like being on my stream with like my audience back then, it was super critical. So yeah, no, the kind of people weren't. <laughs> it wasn't like, these ladies at all. No. Yeah, so, no, the the yeah, roads were that. harsh. That was, that was the, nice. You had the TTS, I think, going. Like yeah, people were yeah. able to come on and say messages. And it we had all the cool little weed, weed accessories and shit. Yeah, like yeah. That. We smoked that Georgia pie blunt that had like the glass tip. It was like, right. it was like a big ass blunt. Do you still get? Do you still smoke those diamond things? Like hit those diamond. Oh, yeah. I'm about to right now. I have some orange slice nebula. Is it you still know, a giant neck? Well. They never made it up. What you call it, huh? You still got to go through it, hassles and yeah. I still have to. I'm medical, so this is all legal. Nobody can give me. Oh, that, that's good then. At least you're yeah. medical. But <laughs> I remember, like when we hung out, you like it. Like it looks like I'm like a crackhead. I'm like busting. You out, got a like, whole briefcase in. Yeah, like all these. <laughs> like a junkie things. with all their utensils. You're like busting out all kinds of apparatuses. I'm like shit. All I need is weed and a cigar. I know. You showed Maybe up. Anyone else all... that knows about dabs knows that like that. What is it? Do you have that thing? What is it called? The uh, yeah. diamond hitter, whatever. The puff flow. <laughs> I was already puffing on it. Earlier. Oh, that's what I you, I thought it was, but I didn't want to interrupt you. Yeah, I, I seen it. I remember. Yeah, here's my old one, and I got the newer upgraded version. It's, it's, and you it's, put it like a diamond type of shit in there, and it, what is it, uh, incinerate it or vaporize yeah, it? Yeah, you put a little bit of the concentrate in there. Like you just take yourself a little scoop de doop and pop oh, it in amazing. there. Let me see. It's hard to get it off of this thing. There it goes. Is it like sticky? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. It's real sticky. It's like I'm hard like... to get off of the thing. It looks like yellow almost, like cream, like banana or something. It's like, like it doesn't look like golden. Look at it. It looks like. Kind of... Right. It's like gooey. 
the cool. nectar. It's the nectar of the weed. They milk and the they, weed and they get they the good shit out. They put a percentage on that. Like, what is that? Like ninety nine percent? Yeah. This. I mean, not ninety nine, but I think this. Is <laughs> I was joking, but yeah, it's like, right. It's I, wanna, they got, I don't think they got ninety nine percent yet. They might as well just like in, withdraw the uh, THC out of the plant somehow and <laughs> start injecting it at that point. It's like this stuff. It's the. But they, you know, they like I got a weed cartridge pin and it's ninety percent, so that really? got to be stronger. Especially if you don't like dab all the time. This is the sand. This is just pure THC crystals. Like if you would have like shake all the crystals off of your weed, oh, like really? that's just what that is. Like it's just THC. Is it better? But I remember key? you did a dab, didn't you? You dabbed, yeah. <laughs> and you were I'm not even, a big like, dabber. That damn. no, you had the whatever you had was and it cleared my chest out. And then I was trying to smoke blunts as much as you did. Like I kept trying to smoke blunt after blunt, guys. I was dying. But you, I remember we couldn't buy weed. Like I already had some of my own weed from wherever I was like coming from. Then, like certain it, times, yeah. Like it, and during the, it's expensive here still. Like an eighth is like it's not recreational yet. In your state. No. no eighth to sixty. Yeah. Well, you got medical weed. Is the prices the same? Like how much is? Yeah, no, that. that's the prices for medical. It's like 60, mm -hmm. 50 to 60 dollars. I mean, if you get like pre ground or small, for an eighth, like there's no, yeah. what, you buy, what you buy an ounce? It doesn't matter. They don't sell ounces at a time here. They only sell like you can get quarters if you're lucky, but they, they don't even sell. buy, but it's the same price, huh? It was like that. I was uh, living in Jersey for like a few months and they became a legal weed state either right by you. And uh, you can only buy a quarter, <laughs> you can only buy yeah. a quarter. It's crazy. Dumb. Hella expensive for no reason. A quarter a day. I was like, I can smoke that. Like, I, I might smoke all that. I want some more weed. <laughs> Depending on how much weed I'm smoking. I smoke like five or six big blunts. That's a quarter ounce of weed. I need, now I can't buy no weed till tomorrow. Like, yeah, no. Weed. That would last you like three blunts. You smoke <laughs> so many blunts, guys. My lungs hurt for days after I don't know. It's <laughs> like, you better be ready to fucking hang if you're going to chill oh, with me, yeah. dude. Uh, you're, clean, you're your blunt, indoors, clean your man. lungs, smoke some tobacco, get it going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. Hey. I think it was the. I think it's the tobacco of the rap too, though. Like it is a tobacco leaf. You're not a cigarette smoker, did you? Were you ever? Before? No, I quit. I That's didn't... how I gained like 70 pounds. Is I quit smoking cigs, but I lost 40 pounds. You look great. I'm gonna say Thank that. You. Uh, yeah. What you call it? People that used to smoke cigarettes and especially still smoke cigarettes, they can't handle blunts. And my theory is that your lungs react to the tobacco wrap differently than mine. I never smoke cigarettes, so That's your lungs probably like open up like all gluttonous. Like finally, I I fucking waited for this for forever. Like you, you ain't smoked a cigarette in ten years. <laughs> you hit the yeah. blunt. You're like, yeah. It hurt really bad. It was like days and days and days. I was like, what the fuck. Uh, what uh be ready, so, be ready chad if you hang out with this dude you gotta you gotta come come prepared do you still talk to uh, any do you have any friends from back in the day from the chat like anybody? no not really i mean if i i mean i have gone live like here and there just to, like fuck around you have on this yeah. channel you yeah i have to subscribe then i didn't know that yeah. I, I didn't even remember that i knew your name obviously i know you but I forgot it's usually that. when i'm traveling like i went to philly to visit my best friend a few weeks ago so i went do live you do IRL, or do you just stream like updates from your room kind of it'll normally just be like yeah like from my room or like really short just it's more for like personal memory so that way i can like just make it private and then i have all these like travel oh, okay. vlogs for me on my channel like what you do you guys you really have no idea like it's just so funny to sit it's hard to have talk yeah, it's, it's not, you don't want to leave your stuff up after the fact either do you because you might not look at, you might not like how you look no. nothing happened it was boring how do you look at yourself, how do you look at yeah, yourself? Oh my gosh. it's not easy oh, trust I, I i was enjoying not having the camera on them i only got it on because of my uh, special occasion right here yeah, yeah no. it's, uh, it's not easy <laughs> and then i've had it off for so long like two weeks or so like now i'm all like almost shy just like you're talking about like no back there and it's, uh, it's, yeah i know you what look you mean good on the cam that's how you got all these great fans you know you look good <laughs> on the cam hype them up chat come on uh, we well, have a really good time glad... i would encourage anybody who skis traveling through your city if he's making a tour host him hang out with him like you, you need I was a nice. I was nice too, respectful, right? I'm yes. Cool. We have fun. We went out and did stuff. 
We did. We went and fed ducks and we we really you made a spread. Do you remember you made the fucking right. spread? Yeah, we it. You were still drinking then too. That's when ski. Yeah, um, yeah that coffee. was during the one. Oh man, I don't yeah, I wish I wasn't. I I, I didn't get too did I drink at your house? No, I you only drank no, the one night. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't recall those drinking days too fondly, but I, I did have some fun. I met you and there were there were a couple of other times from you know riding around, but yeah, I was uh, definitely like trying to get through like a dark period. No, but you did. You I, came out on the other side. Like, look at all your viewers. Look at your channel growth. Like, doing the damn thing. I just want to come on and say, like, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. Hey, I'm glad you your chat me. isn't toxic as fuck now. You have, like, a chill chat. I love it. So, don't encourage me to come around more, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, um, having, like, cool people in the chat. I'll come in and say hi to everyone. And right. work ski always. Yeah. Well, thank you. That was very yeah. nice of you to come up and say that. It's good to talk to you also. Yeah, know, you like, too. Have a good night. Yeah. Be safe out there. And maybe I'll pop on again someday. Who knows? Hey, anytime. I'll, <laughs> and I'll message you. I'll stay in contact with you. Yeah, good job, too. Sure. I'm proud of you. All. Very good job. Well, thank you. That means a lot. It really does. Right. Yeah. Who would have thought, right? Hey, take care. Thank you, all. <laughs> have a good one. All right. LB baby. <clears throat> I had a funny, witty, cool name back in the day for her, but it, it's escaping me right now. I was trying to hit her with the line. I had a, a funny name I came up with. What's up, hippie? Yep, that's my friend. I met her once upon a time. I, I'm very happy I did. I've met I've met uh you know several people. She she's a definitely a cool person. Congratulations, absolutely. And that was cool. Hey, because she hey, thanks for coming up, Bill. That was nice because she is someone who, who used to watch it during a different time. And I just recently uh, you know, started to watch again. She'd been busy with her uh, cosmetology. <laughs> Excuse me. I knew a woman that was a hairdresser also and had to go to cosmetology to get all the licenses. Uh, I guess it's different by state, obviously. She had to uh, take a test that was a written test, and uh, she had to give a hair, two haircut demonstrations, one male and one female, and uh, they were, like, judged by whoever, I guess, like, a, a board of some other hairdressers or something, but it was, like, the people observed them giving these haircuts and then, you know, pretty much said yay or nay. That was nice. That was tight. Thank you. That's right. Yeah. That's crazy, huh? Doing great too. What a what a nice what a nice update. Who's a shitty person? Hold on a second. Dawson, stay here for a second. What's happening? Yeah, hold on, guys. I missed, I missed something. I was talking to talking. Hold on. Dawson, what's going on? What's the problem? Hey, Dawson. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm scrolling up, though, so I can't see the updates. One second. Uh, Dawson, you know I like you very much. I don't know what's going on. I don't see what's going on. Where's my friend Dawson? No, you're definitely not a shitty person. Who said you was a shitty person? Who, nobody better, better talk to Ill Dawson. You know, that's a problem. Who said something about Dawson? Somebody tell me. She's not she's not upset for no reason. What happened? What happened? What happened? Thank you, Queen. What's the problem? Who was talking about her? Oh, she are you, let's not do that, Queen. I, I you know I like you. I you know you're one of my favorite people also. Let's not promote somebody who was talking ill about Dawson. I know you're not doing it with the uh, negative intentions but let's not even make Dawson aware of it because that's like that's when I said I was trying not to hear or listen to or tune into people I knew were talking negative about me it's because who wants to hear people say bad things about him Dawson's like one of the most helpful nicest friendliest kindest people that I've met in the whole time of being a streamer 
And and I don't just mean to me personally. I mean, I, she, you know, she's helped all kinds of people out. I mean, she, she, that, you know, that's in her nature. So let's not, you know, I'm not, a, a, you know, arguing with you, Queen. Whoever the hell was talking shit about her is completely out of line. <clears throat> Dawson and, and she might have already left. Hmm. Hold on. Let me hold on a second. I'm gonna text. Did she say she was just going to go to sleep? Was she already hang or heading out? Yeah, I sent her a text. If I stay on that screen too long, it, it mutes my mic. No, nah, I don't. Oh, well, she was called out. Let's, uh, if you can't, we'll figure out a way to tell each other, like, in a more, uh, how about this? Moderators, this is what we'll do. Moderators will use the back chat to, to communicate things like that. I have a back chat while I'm on this app. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a back chat, which is this thing on the back of, backstage through the uh, stream yards. Basically, if you click the link, you can enter the studio. That doesn't mean you're coming on the show. It doesn't put you on the show or nothing like that. But wh what it does is it gives you the chance to be part of a private chat. Anybody can do it, but let's let's only, if necessary, say things like that because I don't want it. Because what what will happen is. <clears throat> people will go and listen to what you're, whatever you're saying, and they don't. I mean, people besides Dawson. I hope Dawson pays it no mind. I wouldn't. Thank you, Queen. As far as the, that, the person going to do anything they can to try and upset people. You know, that's a that's just a common little tactic of a internet uh, internet blood sports, for lack of a better word. Uh, that's you know, I, I'm not going to let anybody that's uh, someone I like. You know, someone that's uh, supporting my ability to stream, someone that's nice and friendly in nature in general. I don't want to hear, you know, I don't even want to hear about somebody talking negative like that. She's, a, you know, let her talk about me, stupid weenie. She's mad. They're just, they're just, all they're doing is copying what I do. I'm, I'm literally a ventriloquist. So, you know, watch me not talk about them no more. And they're going to realize, oh, maybe I shouldn't talk about people either. <clears throat> it's that easy. It'll go on as long as I keep it going on. And, and obviously now they'll start bothering people like Dawson or, or someone else. And I'm just going to not talk, talk about them no more. I said that earlier. That's not a, you know, I don't want to go hear nothing. She said, I, I'm over it. <clears throat> Stuck up Andy over here. I'm over it. Eh, I'm done. I'm over it. It was fun while it lasted. It was fun. That was, it was a fun back and forth. I'm over it. And I'm on to the, I'm on to the next. I'm over that internet internet interaction. Onto the next. What's up, Courtney? Jump on your stream. Absolutely, absolutely. Give me one second. I got my second phone. That's my friend right there. All right, you guys stay here. I'm not going nowhere. I'm just doing at the yes, same time. Oh, that's what. That's what. Yeah. Never mind. No need to make a pervert joke, Liz. Did you hear it? I said I'm not going nowhere. I just do them both at the same time. <laughs> that's what Michelle said. <laughs> oh, dang it, man! Get it together. Get it together. You have too much fun. Hold on a second. I don't know if she's still in the chat, but uh, where's uh? Let's see if there's a link in the chat. Well, I'm still here, guys. I'm looking at uh my other phone. Yeah, I'll turn the camera on. Tune in. <clears throat> Whoa! Now I'm playing music now. Hold on. Hold on. It seems like we're talking about. The see you next Tuesday face. Oh, look at this guy. Wow, not like this. <laughs> what are we doing here? She's she's looking at me on her stream. I can't communicate like this. I can't communicate like this. I've done this before. This is too hard of a discussion to have. I can't talk like this. I'll try. What? You could be calling me a pedophile. Are you? Oh, man, hell no, nah, I'm not going to go on your show. 
man, scroll up and ban that. No, I'll go on your show. Hold on a second. Give me the link. Give me the link. You're talking to you're talking to 403 pound fat ass pedophiles. Uh, snitch Mike over there. Give me the link. Give me the link. You asked for it, didn't you? Give me the motherfucking link. You got fucking prison pedophile Mike. Man, I'll never talk to you again. You got me confused. Moderator, scroll back up there and ban that dumbass name. Don't ever insult me like that. I don't talk to, to uh, pedophiles. Talk to a 400-pound pedophile over there. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I call you for what you are, fat, you fat sack of shit. You got me on camera getting all flustered. I got cotton mouth and shit. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. Fuck no, I don't want to talk to him. That's his fault. That's, that's control his friend. Suck a dick, fatso. But not literally. I ain't messaging you on shit. Fuck you and your link. Don't ever invite me to somewhere where that dickhead is. You just disrespected me. I'll never talk to you again. Moderators, get her out of here. I'll never talk to you again. Scram. Good looking out, queen. Fucking got me all flustered. I'm having a good night. I'm sit up and roll another blunt. Fucking interrupt me and invite me to some shit like that. Now I'm a little irritated. You Now we got the camera on. You can see what it looks like when they get mad again. Fuck. <sighs> <laughs> I was in a good mood. That was a fucking shitty thing to do. And of course, she's going to not have known. She couldn't have known. Like, okay, how about this? Don't invite me to shit. I thought you was like a, you know, I know you from back in the day. It's another person I used to talk to. Not, not, you know, I never met nobody like that. But she's like a juggalo community type person. The ICP fans or something. I was not an ICP fan. It was a whole other different, different uh, crossover. One of my early crossovers. Don't ever invite me to that. I hope you're still watching my video. That dude is a fucking snitch. Furthermore, he don't even snitch on real shit. He's just like, he's, he's like, see you next Tuesday face. I thought you was inviting me over there to fucking flame that bitch. I didn't know you had a biggest supporter on the show. Fuck, you got me flustered. I'm turning the camera on. Good. Man, don't, let's not say his name in the chat. Fat sack of fucking smelly dog shit. <clears throat> don't ever mention that person. I, I see you next Tuesday. You know, I'm fucking irritated. I'm yeah. Let me, I don't have Instagram anyway, so good good for me. I'm messaging messaging you shit on Instagram. Let me sit up. I got cotton mouth. All right, I'm sorry. Oh damn, son of a bitch. You, I talked to that dude one one time long ago. He's been trying to get my attention. I can just play the call. The last time I talked to you, fucking stupid ass. Ocho, you, you hear the last time I talked to him? The fucking call, I can find it. I, I, he was on this other woman's show. That's the reason I don't talk to that bitch no more. Sorry, ladies. I'm going to stop with the word. I'm sorry. My bad. And sometimes you just, and people in life, you get jobs. So <laughs> maybe I could have did that. That's why I went to college. We just didn't do something different. But uh, yeah, so I got into interested in the media. Then I got into social media. That's where I like first started getting into YouTube. And I saw how like you know, I just remember like learning how influential YouTube, especially, but the internet in general was uh, you know, it was like the greatest tool that humanity's ever had. And the fact that like humans can communicate with each other instantly all across the planet, all at once, even you know, it's unbelievable when you think about like you know, you would, in, you're interested in communicating. I learned so much about the media, though, like the what you what we know of the media. Mainstream media, per se, like that. It's a like the term gatekeeping. They control what information is like put out. Yeah, it's to me that's another thing that makes YouTube so. Like I, I, I go down this little rabbit hole where I'm like. Uh, for one, I, this is not me being schizophrenic, but it, it, I wonder, like, it's amazing that you're able to have a platform and speak to, like, a group of people. It, it could potentially be as big as it gets, right? Like, right now, I have 120 people, but there's people that got 40,000 people to listen to them all at once on YouTube. So, like, all the other media, like, all the TV stations, all the radio stations, all, all like, the you know, everything. It's all owned pretty much by like the same group of uh, companies. Like it's like one company owns all the companies, right? And then you got YouTube. And if I wasn't a YouTuber right now, I would think that YouTube, everyone on YouTube was part of like a conspiracy too, because the fact that we aren't is like insane to me knowing that literally every other form of media 
in terms of mass communication. I don't I don't mean like everyone has an email and a messenger and all that shit. I'm talking about the shit where like you can talk to strangers and have strangers know like have a chance to know who you are. YouTube is it literally. I mean, there's, I guess maybe uh, streaming in general, but there's no what's what's bigger than YouTube? Twitch, not even Twitch because it's not the same. Twitch is like far more difficult to like set up, and they're, they're way more restrictive. The fact you can go on YouTube and say a lot of shit and, and get away with most of it, and you know, it's just unbelievable. I, I've never done nothing malicious in that nature. Like, but imagine, I, I, I don't even like to think of how that could be used negatively. I'm sure it is every day. There's there's entire. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave that thought there. But uh, I definitely appreciate YouTube. And if I was, I couldn't believe that it's it's this easy to to do if I hadn't like learned how to do it. Not not have an audience or build a character. All that shit's extremely hard. I mean, the fact that any any one of y'all in chat right now could could talk to the internet and you know have the same thing I got in terms of like now you got a broadcast with a live chat potentially. You know that's crazy, right? That's insane. Most people, like, it's hard to even get, like, any viewers at all. You have to be talking about something or something like that. But it's so easy to do is my point. That's why, like, Michelle got banned. You could just make another page. You could make an infinite page. She could have a friend of hers make her 100 pages in advance. And that's what's, what's mind-blowing. Oh, all right. Blunt, act, blunt extinguished. We're back to lounging. No, uh, cam, you know, you're insane. No, nah, to me, I was, uh, it's, I don't think I got, I don't think I became more intelligent going to college. I always was about the same level of sharpness. I'm not stupid. Uh, I didn't do the best in school, but, uh, I, I'm generally, uh, I would say I'm smart. Going to college, it uh, it gave me what you call it. It made me want to. So I would say, like before I went to college, I was completely satisfied with like just I would have just lived my life, you know, probably right here in Tulsa, and never had no desire to go nowhere else or do anything. I would have just thought Tulsa was more or less like the entire universe, not like delusional, but you know, I would have probably tried to hang around, you know link up with somebody, do something like that. And that would have been my life. But when, once I, however I got there, once I was in college, uh oh, call her. Ooh, my love. Yo. Hey. Yo. What's up? Uh, I'm trying to stay away. Oh, another one. Yes. Double, double callers? Yep. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Hello. What's it was this? a setup. <laughs> oh, you got me. I was waiting for Grandma Queen to figure out how to do it. I don't even know how I did it the other night. Yeah, what to join or what do you? Yeah, uh... I couldn't even figure it out sober. <laughs> you know how to turn the camera on and off? Like you just hit the buttons. So I know I yeah. couldn't figure out how to how to join. Period. Like yeah, <laughs> I was. She didn't even know the whole click on the link part. I was like, how do you not know that? <laughs> Honestly, then, I don't even know how I got in last time. You mean, is that why, how do you have such like the best appearance ever? It was like the best first appearance of, of all time. Who? You did, Queen. Are you saying you were drunk? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I was, I was buzzing. <laughs> no, I'm, that's all right. I don't care. That's funny, though. That's great. But I'm pretty <laughs> lit, and I walked you step by step how to get on. <laughs> she did. She did. She said, you do this, screenshot this. No, because you, yeah, no, you made a hell of an impact. Knucklehead Amber was was like about to hire you and siphon and steal you away. She, yeah, I said, wait, yeah. <laughs> wait a second, cut it out. I know she said, "Who's that?" Uh -huh. Oh, you're my new best friend. I said, "Did you hear how I was like?" Ha, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> right. She was trying to make you her new snozzle. Or snozzle yeah, or no, uh -uh. <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> they, they know talent when they see it. You. Far sharper than them. Anyway, yeah, that whole situation is. Mm -mm. What do you, what do you think about the, the me dismissing Michelle? Kicked her back out of here, or I really just not going to invite her no more. I didn't really kick her out. Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. There's going to be pe people that hate you. If you have her, there's going to be 
people that hate you if you don't. So it's like. Yeah, you can't please everybody, huh? Yeah, I mean, she's a little. Well, what do crazy. you think? Yeah, I was gonna say personally, what do you think of her? Was she funny? Or I, what do you think? I don't like the fact that she goes after people, your mods, your chat, you know, anyone. Period. And if she's gonna keep doing that, then I say that's a no, because right. those are people who are here for you, not for her. Right. But if she could be civil, which I highly doubt. <laughs> you gave her a lot of chances on that and she failed it each time. Yeah. It's like you and not only that, but every time she comes up, you ask her about a story and she has to tell you 25 stories of how you got to that story before you get the actual <laughs> story and then you don't get the story. Right. I'm yeah. not bothered by her at all. Like we all met her for the most part, like being the Michelle she is now. Like, yeah, she's got a little bit more extreme. But I don't think anybody ever met her as, like, an upstanding, like, citizen of YouTube. Do you think most of that not, like, whenever she talks about kicking the dog or, or things like that, does she do that on purpose because she knows it's going to be offensive? Or, oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, that, funny. though, and I, I mean, I did watch the video and I know clip channels did things on it as well. And other people played it. They slow mode it. They did every other angle that they had to do. And it did look like at one point, even though her foot was out, you could tell that she did hit the dog. Now, how hard? I don't know. Is but that what they were talking about? Because she she made a comment like she just kicked the dog because she was mad, right? Yeah, so she was sitting on the couch. And mm -hmm. I don't really remember exactly what happened. But she most definitely, you could see her leg was propped up like she had her foot on the couch and her knee was up in the camera. And she stretched it out and she had some oomph in that in the kick for sure. Right. So, oh, um, I mean, I I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she's. I mean, it's not unreasonable to think she might have. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it, but that's the thing is, is that she comes up and she tells so many lies, and then the one time she tells the truth, nobody's gonna believe her. <laughs> <laughs> and she was attacking Julie, which is just completely reprehensible. She's not allowed to do that. I didn't yeah. handle that that well, but that's because I just, I, I don't know. I, I was, I you wanted were trying her to, stop. to just stop the situation, yes, honestly, and you weren't Thank doing you. it out of disrespect. And Julie knows that, right. I'm sure. Yeah, and no, Julie can definitely handle herself. I don't think that, I think other people who are already offended by Michelle were offended by it. But, like, obviously, mm -hmm. Julie was hand handling her. Yeah, there were a lot of people that were just, they didn't like me for the whole thing, which, is, you know, I wouldn't like somebody hosting someone that I didn't like. I get it. I would wonder, like, how do they put up with that person or, or how are they able to tolerate them after they did this or said that? That's the point I was trying to make with Amber, but I'm going to just move on from that. We got our, and we, we were able to uh, ruffle feathers and make people talk about us again. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why I wanted that, but hey, it was... I mean, it's not, you know, it's not something nobody knows. Everybody wants their channel to grow. So whichever yeah. way, you know, it is what it is. What do, what do you think of the face off af after the fact? What do you make of uh, Amber and Michelle? It, it wasn't as cool, as uh, action packed as I would have thought, I guess. I, but it was still pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. I don't think I mean, in Michelle's think, eyes, yeah. Michelle won. And right. vice versa, I'm sure. But I think Amber said the worst shit that whatever she said about Michelle's uh, kid baby was like, so that was crazy to hear yeah, her say Yeah, and it. that's something that shouldn't have re been repeated nah, no matter shouldn't. what and then throwing people under the bus. Nah. Yeah, nah, that was cool. That was, it made me regret even more so that I said whatever I said before. Yeah, but to be fair, she said horrible things to you, so. Right. No, it, exactly. But, but for Amber to come up there and throw that in out of nowhere, it was like the first thing, basically. Like, damn. Yeah. And she threw it in there after you already had apologized uh, yeah. for saying it and after you admitted, yeah. like, you know, that it was just like... Yeah, because Michelle, Michelle pressed me right away, right when she got on the show. She's like, you said this about me, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. And I'm like, damn, you're right. Like, you got me, shit. I apologize. And then yeah. it, it was the double repeat for me. Oh, it was. Yeah, you know, she circled back, and, and the second time she said it was just completely disgusting. 
I mean, the first yeah. time was gross anyways, but like the second time was like really evil. And you could tell like it, like as much as Michelle has like a hard shell, like she's like, oh, that hurts evil, anybody. It, it hurts you can you tell anybody. like right away. And I think that's like why it kind of like stunned me. Was they say that, like, that's why they say got taken it. back by it. They say that stuff about me in certain regards, and like, yeah, that's why they say it because they're like, that's how you 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 know that, or I know when someone says that they're trying to uh, really hurt me, and that doesn't make me like them. <laughs> that I lets me know, know like, the fuck out of here ASAP. Right. And oh, I think and even, it's those moments when you react to it that people get like, oh my god, did you hear he said this or that? But like, everybody knows that they said it about somebody that they love that they would act just the same way. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, and I've said it to people like, I'm not happy about that. So I know what it feels like to have it said to you and to say it. It's it's just bad, bad look, bad look. Well, the, the, the one thing that out of everything else that I don't like is all these people going around talking about, oh, they're working together. They're, she's paying him. He's paying. No, the fuck they're not. This is not hmm. a fucking skit. I don't know why people keep saying that. And well, they're talking about people. me and Michelle. They try and say we're in yeah. on something together. Yeah, that's yeah. such I mean, yeah. I, I can't believe that that's a legitimate, like, uh, theory because, there's, it's, yeah, it's just so preposterous. But you know what it is? It's because these people go on and they repeat, 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 go over other people's content, go over people's content, and then they just repeat, repeat, repeat as you come on here and we could talk about 20 different things and you're not playing nobody's stuff. We could talk about it, but you're not playing nobody's stuff and maybe they're just jealous that they can't do the same. I think so, maybe. What's your name got so jealous or upset that I, not jealous, she was so bothered that I was listening to her, whatever, her stream. She was trying to tell yeah. her. Well, yeah. and to be fair, you didn't listen to it, not even for over 30 seconds, and you stopped it and you were talking. So that would have been a false to right. begin with, but. Exactly. But who wants to deal with some, with her nonsense? Yeah. She's and that, so she's many that people do it to you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there you said it exactly. And they do well, it to you because they think that, you know, well, you they know. Won't... Can, well, they yeah. know even, I'm not even equipped to uh, issue out takedowns if I wanted to. Never mind not, not doing it. Uh, it's not like a part of my, whatchamacallit. It's not something I do as a behavior. I don't go around striking videos. So they, they kind of know they can reuse it as much as they want. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I use, I should. You know, I, I'm going to not talk about it right now, but I should get ready to figure out. A, uh -huh. Yeah. Anyways, what uh, what are you guys hanging out tonight? I'm starting to get a little hungry as you guys already ate so late in the evening. Yes, yeah. it's 930. <laughs> Liz had uh, gro or gas station pizza. Ooh, that's my that's right up my alley. My gas station pizza, pizza are two of the best. You have 7-Eleven? Yeah, but not like near me. I went to QT. Oh, that's cool. We got those. It's Quick based trip. out of Tulsa. It's called Quick Trip. Oh, they have like the cool. best food. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, none <laughs> of my gas stations have any good food. Oh, you're missing out. What's, what state are you in again? I know Liz is in where I don't want to say. What's, what state are you in, though? I didn't know they would have quick trips where Liz is. That's pretty far. Yeah, we have them, like, on every corner here. Man, they're like the Walmart at gas stations. I live in, like, a tiny town, and we have, like, four. <laughs> oh, man. That's a Tulsa uh, chain. Hmm. Did you ask me, Chris? Hmm. My dad was trying to call me. I said, I'm on the phone. Yeah. I'll call you back. <laughs> you know, I didn't just, what state do you live in? Again, you don't, you don't have to even though I don't like to say it, don't say it, don't say it. No, 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 because you said that one person comes from here. <laughs> I said what? From that one Wait. person that lives or lived here in Washington. Which one? There's a couple of people from Washington. Which one was it? Oh, which? Uh, Lish. You, oh, Trisha Licious? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm like, we don't claim her, even though I'm I not even you. born and raised here. I'm not. Right. I was born yeah. and raised in Florida. There's another guy that's on YouTube that uh, stocks the C-U-N-T face girl, and uh, they're from Washington. That's all I know now. I'll, I'll think more of Washington. Like, I'll have a higher opinion 
I'll consider uh, you represented instead of them. Yeah, I used to, sure. I used to think of it. I thought it was a shitty state. Yeah, Trisha and then that those losers and a couple of others. Like, damn, yeah, Washington sounds like a place I don't want to go. It's one of the few states I haven't been to. I know. That's why I was saying. <laughs> when it's not cool do you need to make a trip because when it is summer it's nice even though the water is so cold there like we we float the river or i mean there's other things to do although it is the green river and you heard of that story about the green river killer i've heard of that but i don't know what the story is it's some some guy out there catching bodies i suppose huh well he you know whatever them <laughs> And then he put their bodies in that river. And then years mm. later, uh, they started coming up. And then they did more searches, I guess, and found over hundreds, I think, in that river. And the hundreds of different victims? It, yeah. Yeah, like the, the, the ladies' crazy. bodies. And he, did they catch the guy? Like, did I they think catch the so. guy? Like, was he doing it? You think I so? I'd have to know if I lived in. What do you mean you think? How, are there people still well, coming up missing? The thing is that it happened before I moved here. Oh, okay. But does it go on? Like, do you ever hear about people like, you know, we ain't seen James in like seven weeks. We think <laughs> no, they bring the killer sure guy. He, I'm pretty sure he's locked up or he's not alive. Okay. Yeah. When did this start? It was it like all through like years or something? Like how long, how long to get a hundred bodies or whatever? Do they you know? know? What? Hold on. <laughs> crazy serial killer. I've, I've heard of that though. The Green River. His name was Gary Ridgeway. And oh, okay. So he is caught. In, in other words, he's probably dead or something. Probably. In 2003, he accepted a deal, like a plea deal. And he was sentenced to 48 consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. <laughs> All right. That, that'll work for him then. He's screwed. Yeah. But do they not have the death penalty? Not, I'm not saying he should have get it. I'm, I'm anti-death penalty. I'm just curious. Like, why give him 47 life sentences? Well, that's probably how many people I thought it no, was. I get that, but I'm saying, like, why, you know, 47 life sentences, <laughs> or you could just give him the death penalty. <laughs> like, I mean, well, yeah, yeah. Like, why not? Well, I'm basically saying, like, why not give him the death penalty if you kill that many people? Because it must not be a state that has it. Because usually, the, you know, serial killer, someone like that is really rare. Like, you know, <clears throat> there's not a lot of people that kill that many people. So that's why they have the death penalty in, for like, extreme cases. So I was trying to look it up. Obviously, I know more about Florida than I do Washington, but I they don't have know. They have for sure. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, well, let's, let's not worry about it. You guys, no concern for us. <laughs> just, he was talking about All a serial killer. I, like, I went from the <laughs> right? I like to. <laughs> I was like, I know nothing about this. <laughs> Sorry. But apparently, neither do I, other than it happened. <laughs> Did yeah. you eat yet today? No, I'm, I'm getting ready to go whip something up. Probably make some said the here. munchies are coming. Yeah. Wait, 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 cam up. You said if anybody came up, you were going to cam up. I did. They didn't see my. I'm, we were not up here. I just did a second ago. I think wasn't I on the camera? No. Nope. <laughs> uh, who did what? You're welcome, chat. Mm. Exactly. That's why we came up. Hey. I just talked to somebody else. That's I, I, I tricked myself. I thought it, it was only one time per. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I said it's only one <laughs> one cam per per. Uh, one cam per person that popped up, but two people popped up at the same time. Right. That's what I was trying to say. She was like, are you ready? I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> what, uh, oh, here's my, here's, here's one of my nemesis. Yeah, it's a true crime podcast now. Absolutely. Uh, she's from up there. Where, oh, she's from Oregon, though. What's the other one? So that was Green River. 
Isn't there like a Snake River killer? <laughs> now we're just talking true crime. I snake River. <laughs> There's something like that, right? I actually think it is. I didn't totally make that up. Let me look it up. I got my other phone. Let's talk about all the serial killers related to rivers on today's podcast of uh, Ski Mask and What do we Google? Cooking. River killers? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not even right. Let's not waste our time. That's that's not even. A thing. No, I, even... it was definitely a joke. Did you ever watch the Netflix show that was about uh, Richard Ramirez? He was a crazy guy. The guy that he was a serial oh, killer yeah. in LA. The Night Stalker. Yeah. The, the uh, TV. I don't think I saw... Well, there was a lot of TV shows, but there was a uh, Stranger Days. Is that the name of a TV show? Yes. They, or they must be. Some, some, some like horror show did a uh, whole season about him. Oh, I, I think I know what you're talking about. I never watched it, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to look. I'm like, at, I still I'm got nothing. At, <laughs> I'm looking at the computer at the comments, but also, but I, I swear there must be a delay because your face does something different on my phone than it does on the computer. Is it lag? Tell the chat to press one. That's how I check. Hey, do do it yourself do? in real time so you can tell when they do it. I okay, guess. push ones in the chat. <laughs> okay, I just saw Julie. So that's oh, not oh. me. Are you saying that my lips aren't, uh, they're unseen <laughs> like a bad kung fu movie? <laughs> I'm moving. No, no, I'm not. Guys, how? Hold on a second. Type it in chat. Can you ask that question in the chat? Because they might not. Maybe it's a your uh, permission. <laughs> not someone calling my work phone this late. Well, it's Anybody? not late for me. Yeah, that's what, when someone in chat heard that. So it can't be that far, right? Oh. I'm yeah. too high to figure. You know, I guess maybe uh, they got unsynced somehow. Are his lips moving? <laughs> you said to ask. Oh, okay. <laughs> they took you that long to type that? Did you just now type it? I told you I'm lit right well, my, now. Okay. Like, I'm Liz is stuck in the bushes. I might. When you guys started talking about the rivers and the killers, I was like, damn. <laughs> damn. Well, I'm going to go get, I might wrap it up. <laughs> I almost made the same joke I made last night. I think I said that phrase last that exact same statement. Something about that's what Michelle does at work or some shit. <laughs> like Michelle should be doing right about now. Speaking of her, just one last thing. I, I seen people saying that <laughs> they tried looking up her channel and it's gone. So I don't know if you've looked it up, but. I never even knew the one Michelle always wins. They said she had like, what, a hundred and something subscribers. I didn't know that she had that channel, but as soon as the they only, find out, about it, the only reason I even saw it is because I was able to click on it and go to the channel when she was in chat that one time, and it popped up. But it's not like you can find her regularly, like as if she had her other channels. Yeah, I, I was subbed to her, so let me see. I don't know. I don't see her on my list anymore. Yeah, I heard they were people had her on a hit list again, so. Mm -hmm. She should just keep making channels, but she shouldn't make them, like, known until she's going to use them. And not only that, but why would you keep with the same name? Well, she's desperate to talk to the same trolls and haters. She wants to maintain whatever, but yeah, that's. She wants the same crowd. She should just go get a whole new setup and become another character. And uh, she could even just be the same stupid, quirky individual. Just don't call herself NGL, all that other dumb shit. Oh, Julie said it's still there. Hmm? Julie said it's still there. What's still there? The page. Oh, her page. What are you talking about? I got you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, good luck to her on that. She should just keep making new pages if she's going to stream. I don't know why she would make one and not use it. 
But yeah, I, I don't know. And her text messages to you, she's she's a wild one. Oh, I know she's gonna pay a thousand dollars to get me beat up. Yeah. Beat okay. Up. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, why, where I'll are these thousand dollars? I'll hold my breath for that one. Exactly. I don't think you got a thousand dollars to just waste her. <laughs> Not around. only that, but she probably don't even know anybody in your state. I mean, exactly. Yeah. What would we? <laughs> let's pretend. I don't she think wouldn't. she knows anybody in general who would be willing to take the challenge. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's money. It's not a challenge. She's gonna pay someone. I, I know, but I mean, like in my life, I know, I like, I know somebody that's in the room next to me that would do that for me for no money. But I'm saying, I don't think she knows anybody she could even pay. Yeah, but your your print your whoever you know wouldn't come and do it for a thousand dollars. It wouldn't even be worth the travel expenses. You know, I work in, no, work I'm in, saying like I. Have but Michelle makes it seem like she's gonna. She makes it seem like she's gonna like someone's gonna travel from somewhere else. Yeah. And then you know spend all those days and hours and whatever, and then you know I'm assuming they're gonna beat my ass like she said, and then after that <laughs> task is accomplished, you know that they just brush their hands and then they got to spend like, three days traveling back home. Like, did they drive there? Like how much is airfare? Michelle, a thousand dollars doesn't even crack up with the damn flight back and forth. Wow. It great shit. They must have really not liked me just like you, Michelle, because you're barely covering their expenses at that. <laughs> if Michelle would have started saying some shit like, I've got 15 grand to anybody that wants to go to Oklahoma and this and that, <laughs> then it would have been like a legitimate thousand know, dollars. Like it had to be a broke, like, I mean, I'm broke. Like, like you're saying, if it was somebody in my own town, even like it might be interesting or like a concern, but Michelle, like nobody's traveling from, you know, Nevada or nothing they're coming from. No one's going to do it, period. I mean, and not exactly. only that, it's but... Not, like, what's, who would do that for Michelle? Like, who is just a hilarious statement. So I mean, that's what I mean. Guy. She doesn't have friends. Like, anybody who yeah. has friends yeah. knows somebody who would do some, like, shady shit for them. Like, if you have real friends. She has nobody well, that and, you and, can and, even uh, go Absolutely. Michelle, well, I mean, she probably has people like, Michelle could think of a knucklehead she's probably known like in the last 20 years and she probably thought was a tough guy, but he's not coming from Georgia. She's not, and even if he is, he's not doing it for a thousand, Michelle. Maybe a hundred thousand, he'll waste the, you know, <laughs> the whole week. Are there many 50-something tough guys, though? Not really. You should kind of be over it. <laughs> not only that, but what kind of line would they would she give them for real? Like, this guy didn't let me on his YouTube well, channel. Can you go beat him up? I, I think she's, she doesn't think she has to explain that. She's like the money talks type deal. The problem is it's oh, such she's a... she's delusional. <laughs> it's like the money talks, <laughs> but it's like such a, the money's so fucking little that it can't talk at all. It's just quiet. Michelle, you, I don't know. She could get a drunk guy in Tulsa to come and like, try and do something to somebody for $1,000, but... <laughs> That's the type of quality you can get. He's not really going to fuck me up, is he? It ain't the same as one of these muscle head knuckleheads off of the internet running around trying to chase me. I mean, maybe she knows a tweaker or something. Right. Possibly. Yeah, but I think it would cost a little bit more. For for 1K, they would do anything. (laughs) Right. They'd have to get paid up front, and they probably wouldn't even do it. <laughs> Michelle, <laughs> Michelle's dumb as a get ripped off. Sure. <laughs> and, be funny. and to be fair, she's so far into debts with bets that she's made with other people that she still owes and has never paid up. So there's she's, that. Her word on the internet streets is garbage. She got no credit. I ain't paid, yeah. She doesn't have YouTube cred nor street cred. She don't have a real thousand dollars or a thousand dollars worth of clout credit either. So she's just double screwed. <laughs> Yeah, she's a whole mess. We're going to dismiss her threat as not credible. Of course, I would never call nobody. A lot of these other knuckleheads, imagine like she threatened that to somebody else. Or imagine if I threatened something like that to one. Jeez Louise. Oh, yeah. If you did it, like it, they would still be talking about it right nobody, now. Nobody can, can report Michelle on behalf of me. I don't want anybody to. I'm saying that's not possible, right? Like they can't see that message and then say she's threatening this no. person. No. I don't think so. But had you no, just... threatened Michelle, like they would be panel on panel on panel about you right now. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But now, yeah. you know, but if Michelle doing it to you, it's no big deal. But if the if the messages were reversed, yeah. Be oh, the worst they... person. oh, and Michelle would be acting much different than I am, also, of course. She'd be using she'd be using it to like, you know, get me in the worst amount of trouble. Yeah. That's a hundred percent facts. 
Yeah. <sighs> what are we gonna do with that girl? We're gonna ignore her. We're gonna keep ignoring her until uh, I ice her out. Yeah, unless something something peaks the interest level. I, unless she's she walking could, the dogs again. Then I was just going to say, if more. she could talk that, then for sure. That's the problem. Like, if we don't ever talk to her or have, like, these video calls, <laughs> dude, we'll never get another moment like that. That was that, That's going to be hard to top, though. Only like let her cuddle up if she's in the snow with the dogs. <laughs> that's the rule. Like, are you... Where, I guess, yeah. She has Something. to turn the cam on. You have to see snow. You have to see dogs off the leash. And, yeah, and, yeah. The, and the funniest part, I swear to God, I mean, I missed it when it happened in real time, but I went back and watched <laughs> it. I wanted to comment so bad, but I was like, you can't. But the fact that you were like, you, you're you going to put leashes on, right? Didn't you tell her something about the harnesses and yeah, leashes? Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. it, that and was the funny was thing. Like, well, yeah. They That's don't what need it. it. Uh huh. And then, then after she uh, like walked outside with him again, she like lets him go off the leash. And I was like, Michelle, what the hell are you doing? Like, I was like, I was telling her every single bit of the way, like, you know, cut that no, out. No, but then oh when God. she came on panel after she went back inside and had to act like so stoic, like it, she meant it to happen, and she was so defensive. When I couldn't, I I, I promise <laughs> you, I could not hear what she was saying, and everyone probably thought it I was, was lying. Caught in 4K. She was so <laughs> mad. That's there crazy. ain't no denying none of that. I, and then I, I, I did see that long-winded post. I don't remember whose channel it was on, but I, I did see someone had a clip, and I did see a long-winded comment from her saying they thought they were at the dog park. Uh, just not that <laughs> oh, long ago, when you were on his channel, white. you were saying you were going to take them to the dog park because they're too lazy. Exactly. That's a good. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I said that too. And she acted like I was speaking Chinese or something. She didn't know what the hell I was saying. <laughs> and, and then one, one other thing that I did. Uh, what was it? She said, God damn it. No, I forgot. Yeah, she's like they, she was acting like they were so well trained. They would just listen to voice commands or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> like audio, audio type commands. The sound mean. she made as she was falling, dude, I can't get. <laughs> <laughs> did she fall <laughs> once or did she fall twice? I, it's hard to tell, but I think she, she tumbled. I think she just two tumbled. Times. Like, yeah, she didn't really I like. I saw the glasses on the floor or in the snow. Yeah. <laughs> And Dude, so whoever's channel did the slow mo to the glasses and like pause. I didn't see the glasses like the first like five times through. But on the clip <laughs> channel, I saw it when they slow mode did the glasses and that I was done. That's was good. done. That's funny. And, and then I was going to say, uh, well, there's snow where you are, right? Oh, it's like an icicle. Yep. Yeah, so no one's coming there, <laughs> especially not her. No, of course not. That's why I said they better. Come, they talk shit in the chat every day. I told them today they better have ice skates because I you can't even get to where I'm at. You can't even, <laughs> even drive down the roads. You know, you gonna bobsled over here? <laughs> She's gonna have her dogs pull her because they're so well trained. Do you think Michelle thought that that was funny? Like she was, she got why everyone was laughing. Or do you think that she thought everyone was being mean? Because I, I usually don't laugh at things like that, but I couldn't help it. <laughs> no, it, I, I, for me, I think it's the part that she tried to make it that it was not a deal whatsoever and that <laughs> she said I did hear her say that they saw another dog well hello we all saw what was around you because your camera was everywhere and there was no dogs yeah there was I don't believe the dog BS but who even cares right like the point is Michelle it was funny because it was <laughs> we, we told you it was going to happen and, and then it did like, yeah she just own it Owned. Well, she tried to make it. I've seen that comment that everyone was talking about, and she was making it seem like everyone was just being mean and laughing at her, a, a dog <laughs> running away from some, you know, innocent woman. It's like, Michelle, are you kidding me right now? It's like, yeah, you, exactly. You can't help but laugh. No, they it, wanted to get out and run because they don't get to. And so maybe she should bring them to a dog park. <laughs> well, obviously, right? Like, Michelle's so, but she don't get none of that, I guess. Or she just can't, can't well, admit it. She's just the type of person that she always has to be right. And nothing you can tell her is going to help her. Nothing. Nothing right. at all. No, you're just like knocking you to a wall. Yeah. Even when you tried to tell her, don't do X, Y, and Z, what did she do? She did X, she didn't not do X, Y, and Z. You know what yeah. I mean? Exactly. Yeah, she don't listen. It's a waste of time.
in the I whole guess. time that I've like interacted with her, like this, that was the first time that I've ever seen her actually take them outside. I felt like she was doing it for the stream because of because of the snow and she was making such a big deal. Like they've never been in snow. <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna say. She said they've never been in snow, yet she says it snows in Georgia. So how does that make sense? The math yeah. ain't mathin'. <laughs> the uh, she's a double talker, all right. There's a little bit of an overlap. That, that's what I was gonna <laughs> say when I said I couldn't remember. She was talking about it being icy. Remember when you were like, "Well, what is your car gonna roll down your hill?" Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because I was thinking I, it was really bad where I'm at, but it wasn't as bad there. Yeah. yeah. So and and clearly they get snow. So when she walked outside with the dog, she's like, it's her first time seeing snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're talking about whenever Michelle, uh, the Jeep was going to roll down the, the slope after it was going to sled getting... down the fucking road. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What an airhead. Now I got you. Yeah, no, that it definitely is snowed. Yeah, duh. She she the one that's what, when she said it doesn't snow in Georgia. I didn't really believe her. I was like, huh? I've been to Georgia before. Now, granted, it was when I was in middle school, but they definitely had snow. So I don't know, but it. I don't think it was their first time seeing snow. Even so, it wasn't their first time sne seeing snow that day because they obviously had to go pee at some point. <laughs> right. Michelle just probably lies just out of a habit, right? Like compulsive. Well, that's what I'm saying is she lies so much. You never know when it's the about, fuck you believe her. And it's about dumb shit. Like who even cares about anything to lie about whether or not the dog's ever seen snow? Like or it's like immaterial. Something like basic. Like when everybody <laughs> saw the sushi on the table and she's like, there's no sushi on the table. And everyone saw it. Right. Yeah, and I want to know why she had a shoe in her underwear drawer, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Just two. A heel. A heel. One, uh, not two. One. <laughs> there are so many things I want to ask, but it's like, you cannot have a civil conversation and her not become defensive, yell at you, or... Well, I think she turns it on, especially that she knows she was going to come on this show, or any show, rather. She, uh... She's not going to, it's like a character kind of, you know. Like but she even can't... if we asked her, I mean, I've never been sub to her. I never will. That's just because <laughs> I do not want you to. You mean in the chat, though, she didn't answer? Yeah, Maybe. I'm saying if people would ask questions, it was it's like she would answer real personal ones. But if someone asked her a true question that they were really interested in, it was like, you're going to the attic. Deuces. <laughs> What's the attic? Like a timeout metaphor or something? Oh, that was after she was done with the deuces thing. She said, you're going to the attic. And now there's <laughs> a lot of people in the attic and they're stuck and they're never going to get out. Um, it's kind of, kind, of, kind of a scary little statement, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure she has a full-size Santa up there along with the bat. I've seen that one time. i seen that. <laughs> it's so she like went up there and showed off the attic. I saw it. It was like the bat clip. <laughs> Yeah, so Your that was action. Yeah, that was her 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 new phrase instead of deuces. It was what did she say? You're you're going to or I don't know what the fuck she said. Something about going to the attic. Like with the is it a bat reference? Is it got anything to do with the bats? I don't. Like I, why is he, I, mean, I don't. I'm trying to know. embrace the embrace the joke or something. To go into the attic. I don't yeah, want to go. I think he just thought it was funny. There it's was really actually cool. someone in your chat yesterday with the name that said, I'm stuck in the attic and now there's no <laughs> way to get out. That's funny. I swear. Somebody else said there was another name like that, but I don't remember what it said. Oh, yeah. There was another attic one that said, I'm stuck in the attic with Santa. Oh, yeah. Maybe that <laughs> was it. What's yeah, the Santa is like like a front yard prop or something? Why keep that around? That's kind of <laughs> kind of weird. I mean, why does she keep the bats around? Well, because that's she's just <laughs> unkempt, she's unkempt and just doesn't care about a I, I guess anything in her health, the, the way maybe it smells. She's, maybe she's just a hoarder. She doesn't like to get rid of anything. You know, I think she just likes to fight because even with the bat thing, you know how everybody was giving her advice? Like other people obviously have had like different pests so they know that there's a way to deal with it but she had like every excuse as to why she couldn't get rid of them 
<laughs> oh damn! Yeah, she didn't want to spend her ex-husband's money. Was it? Was it <laughs> just of it? I don't get why anybody would give a shit about spending their ex's money on their ex's stuff. Like, how does that got anything to do with you? Or she would like complain. She's like, they have to put something on the outside of the house, and it's gonna make it ugly. And I'm like, what? Like, you want bats versus having a screen mm-hmm. on the outside of your house that no like, one? Who gives see? a shit? You you got bats in the house. Like, it's like <laughs> if you had cockroaches, but you didn't want to get the house bombed because how it would smell afterwards. I, I don't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, I'm like, I would put a piece of plywood if it would stop it. I would. That's what I said. I was like. I told Michelle I would climb up there on my own. I was like, you know how to do all this rock climbing? I was like, just fucking rappel up the side of the building and fix the fix the little thing. Like, you can't have bats. It's it, it's unacceptable. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. And I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody says. That was a rat, and I will say that to the end. <laughs> it was. Oh my god. <laughs> Never. Yeah. It was I didn't an optical illusion, Queen. You are crazy. No way. <laughs> No way. <laughs> Did they, is that the only time they ever saw a rat or something that looked like one? It was, but here's the thing is one, her dog doesn't have a tail. It has a nub. Number two, where the rat came out of, there's like a like one of the air vent things. And um right there is where the staircase is. And it's not the staircase isn't the way where a dog couldn't have came up. They would have had to come up turn around the corner, and then go behind her. That was a rat. Damn. That's kind of scary. I hate rats. I wouldn't want to live like that. Makes me wonder uh, how Michelle can. It would creep me the fuck out. I just got the, the, heat, like, the chills thinking about <laughs> the rats running around and shit. Yeah. And, yeah. And, the, and here's the thing. She was like, I live in the woods. I live in the woods. That's wonderful. So it's definitely possible it could happen. So why not take the L and just say, yeah, it was a rat. I got it out of my house. End of story. But <laughs> well, I mean, that'd I mean? be why not do that with you know seventeen other things that are more important also? Because it's probably just she's no accountability. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> want to be this like have to you know accept it. Well, what's going on in that? Oh, you got it. <laughs> Look at Queen. <laughs> It's okay, mm. Queen. I got you. Okay. I'm like, what? what is going on in here? <laughs> well, ladies, I might get off of here and go make something to eat. You guys want to stay on? You can stay on and hang out if, if you think you uh, feel up to it. But uh, I'm going to probably end my whatever. If you guys want to stay and, and talk to the chat, you can. Or I'll uh, just end it. It's up to you. You probably want to just leave, right? <laughs> You're not gonna come back. No, I'm not. No, I'm not coming back at all. I'm not coming yeah. back at all. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like I can't concentrate and I can't stop laughing. You guys brought up the dog, <laughs> and I will never stop tonight. Well, hey, Liz, Liz is thank, stuck. thank She's you all. Looking at a wall right now. Queen, thank you as well. I, I appreciate both of you very much, and, and you're so much of a, a help that you don't even know it. And also, thank you very much for coming on the show. Oh, of course. I'll uh, have you back anytime you want to come back up. I'm, uh, all right. You guys take care. Have a good night. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, Bye. All right, guys. It's rather early. It's only 11. Not even 11 yet. But I had streamed a quite a while. Not like I need a pat on the back. Just saying that's why I'm talked out. I was gonna. I would have let them stay. It was pretty fun. I'm glad they came up. We had L calling before that. It was a nice, fun, fun chat. Good time. Ooh, ooh. Cash app. Great stream. Ooh, thank you. Ooh. Oh, that's that's the same one. It just my other phone is on silent. It got it five seconds early. Sometimes I confuse myself, and I think I got machine gun cash app. It's like whoa. Machine gun cash apps. Why? Why do I sound bummed out? I'm tired. I'm not even like, I didn't, I'm, I'm not tired. Why do I sound bummed out? I don't agree with that. Does anybody else think I sound bummed out? Are you kidding me? I'm, you want to see what I look like? Mm. 
Whoa. Whoa. Where's the thing? <laughs> I can't be pressing the button. Cash app. Hey, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it says eat well, sleep well. <laughs> there, I did get a double cash app. Premonition. Whoa, double double blessing. Double blessing secured. Now there is a 96% chance of that I'm gonna eat these sandwiches with those little chips and, and a Sprite, and then uh, go to sleep shortly thereafter. I'll dork around on my phone a bit. I gotta charge up my three cell phones. If I am unable to go to sleep, I am gonna come back live and hang out with you guys more. So, you know, you know I hope everyone has a great rest of their evening and, and a, a great day tomorrow. And I'll be live again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central and probably in the morning also, or the afternoon, rather. Definitely at 7 p.m. Hey, thank you, B. Rando. No, I got regular sandwiches tonight, unfortunately. Thank you, happy life. I got a plain bologna. I mean, it's good bologna, Oscar Mayer bologna, yellow cheese, and bread. I like plain stuff with some chips. That's uh, good enough for me. I don't even like sauces. Like mayonnaise only occasionally, really only on certain, like basically sometimes on cheeseburgers. Oh, oh, the cash app and it says stay live. Oh my gosh, stay live, huh? I got a cash app and it says stay live. Oh my goodness. <sighs> What's up, G? My goodness. <laughs> uh, good night, Janelle. Uh, you, I, uh, you guys know if I stay live, I end up, I just stay up all night. Not like I'm really badass and I want to, it's just like if I don't go to sleep, then I won't be able to go to sleep. I, don't, I only get like windows. So I'm starting to get tired now. I still want to eat. If I, would, if I wanted to stay live and then still go to sleep, I'd still end the stream in a few minutes, and then I wouldn't have time to eat if I still wanted to go to sleep. And I'm in a conundrum. Yeah. Sauces. <laughs> well, it's not like, I don't hate sauces. I hate, I hate the, like, saucy type shit on sandwiches, if that makes sense. Like, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, Whatever else. I don't like none of that stuff on sandwiches. Nope. Maybe on cheeseburgers. That's it. I'm going to bed, too. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, everybody. Oh, man. Thank you, Liz. Thank you for coming on the show, guys. Thank you, everyone. Jiminy. Thank you to Queen and L both for also uh, coming on the show. Everybody that came on the show, that, that I think that was a 40, one, two, three people tonight. I counted myself as a fourth. Oh, that was great. I like you guys' callers better, or whatever, uh, as guests, whatever you want to refer to it as. Panels, panel co stars. I like my friends out of chat the most. I like everyone except for the weirdos. But I like my friends from chat the most. Yes. I'll be live again tomorrow. I want to say good night to everybody. Good night to my friend Doris. Good night to Vinetti. I'll leave the stream public because this was a fun one. Right? We ended that other nonsense. So that was the benefit of doing it. Otherwise, this stream was almost four hours long. I don't remember how long the first one was, but then I would have not been able to leave this one up if we hadn't separated them. <laughs> no, was, I don't think Michelle, I th we could interact with Michelle and have her on the show a hundred more times and nothing as funny as that's ever going to happen. That's going to be tough to, tough to even match. Never mind B. Never mind B. Jim and me. Good night. Thank you. Happy life. Good night, Julie. Good night, Liz. Good night, Queen. 
Good night, Janelle. Good night, Snow White. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mercy. Good night, Mitten Mama. Mama Steph, happy life. Google G, my friend. Uh, Paige was in here earlier. Oh, there so many people. Thank you, everyone. Shout out to Chris, the car guy. We're trying this. He, he, he watches oftentimes. He, he doesn't really, uh, I don't think he chats that much in terms of like chatting in the chat room, but uh, you know, we don't ever know when Chris is watching. He's kind of like, uh, what's that movie? The Candyman. If we had a car problem, he is Chris, the car guy, right? <laughs> uh, I'm having fun. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Take care.